So one of the nicest and most consistent compliments that I get, even like way back when the first boxy videos were made, was on my skin and how clear and nice my skin is. And I just, you guys, just don't stab at you. But I have definitely been blessed with my skin. It doesn't usually give me too many problems. The only complaint that I have is when I do have a breakout, there is some scarring. But I do not think that it is all genetics because I work very very hard to have my skin be this way. I have a skin care regime and I'm religious about it. I should mention that one of the best ways to have clear skin is to treat your body right and eat healthy. Eat your fruits and veggies and drink plenty of water. Your skin is the largest organ in your body and it is just an outward reflection of what your insides look like. So the better you eat and treat yourself, the better your skin will look. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that this might not work for you. All I know is that this is what works for me. I am not an expert. I don't go run into your dermatologist and being like, but Katie said on the internet. No, this is what works for me. All right, with that said, let's go. Step one to having my skin is never sleep in your makeup. Ever, 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 ever. I do not care how tired you are. I do not care how drunk you are. I do not care what kind of day you've had. Take your goddamn makeup off. I can't stress this enough and you will thank me later. And if people can take their, can sleep with their makeup on and they don't have any adverse effects, then good for fucking you. But most people can't really get away with it. It does a lot of damage to the skin. I am always religious about taking my makeup off. I don't have like a great like makeup remover. It's just really goddamn simple cold cream. It's not anything fancy or expensive, but it gets the job done. What I use it with are little cotton rounds. And these are my best friends. I love cotton rounds. And it's because I use them for so much of my skincare regime. And I fucking, I love them. Look at them. They're just so cute. They just want to boop. They're fantastic and great and you can get them anywhere and they usually sell them at Costco but the last three times that I've been to Costco specifically for buying cotton rounds they haven't had them and it's pissing me off because I like to buy them in bulk. Okay, so take your makeup off. Then wash your face. These are my face washes. The, this first one, it's the Derma Doctor's Wrinkle Revenge and it's for anti-aging and it's not like I have any wrinkles or anything like that but I don't know if you guys have noticed but I have an expressive face. So I'm trying to prevent wrinkles before they happen because oh, I like just got this so I don't really have a um, I don't really have a real opinion on it. So I'll let you know how it goes. And then for blemish control, this is uh, my favorite exfoliator. As you can see, like the bottle is all like beat to shit because I'm always like, yes! So it's the St. Ives Apricot Scrub and it's um, pretty straightforward. I use it, you know, I uh, like think on Mondays and Wednesdays I decided was when I was going to use it because uh, it's not something that you should do every day. You should use it like two to three times a week. I choose two because my everyday facial cleanser that I use is this and it's intense. So because as Michelle Fawn would say, the key is not to cure, it is to prevent. So. I prevent my acne with this continuous control um, acne cleanser and it's like 10% active ingredient benzoyl peroxide and it is intense but I love it and it works so well and but you should know that like because it you know it's like 10% which is like pretty extreme that your skin would might get a little bit red after you use it which mine does and you're a little bit more sensitive to the sun so it's always important to wear sunscreen. So those are my face washes. And then I use a toner with my cotton rounds. I just put it on the cotton round and then wipe it over your face. And this is also very important for preventing acne. Like it's just like a toner. Um, I've been thinking about investing in a better toner, but drugstore toners have always worked just fine for me. And this honestly is not my favorite kind. It's just CVS. My favorite kind of toner to get is the Seabreeze. That's the deep clean sea breeze and it's like yellow color sort of and 
this is for sensitive skin, um, but it doesn't really matter, at least not for me. After you use your toner, it's very important to use a moisturizer because toners can really dry out your skin. And I actually just ran out of my favorite moisturizer because it's expensive. Um, it's the Philosophy Clear Days Ahead Moisturizer. It's also an acne prevention moisturizer. I love it. It's my favorite. Oh my god. In the place of that, I just use any old oil-free acne fighting moisturizer, CVS. Um, this is old, but um, just to give you like an idea of, you know. The four biggest steps to having skin like mine is take off your makeup every night, wash your face, toner, moisturize. That is basically it. This is sort of like a when I feel like it sort of thing is this cucumber mask. Uh, it's a peel off mask and what it does is it has nothing to do with acne. It's just really, oh, it feels so smooth and nice. Um, and I, yeah, I, I love it. It clarifies and renews your skin. I really like it, um, but it's not like a must have sort of thing. It's just, this is a luxury. As is this one. Yeah, so it's supposed to be like oil absorbing, pore tightening. It recommends that you do it like once a week. I do it when I feel like it. It's a luxury, not necessary, but yeah. It's fun to have masks and have girl time when you put cucumber on your eyes. As I was saying, one of the things about my skin is that when I do get a breakout and then the pimple goes away, there is usually some scarring. Something that I really like is uh, BB cream. I sometimes find that foundation can be like a little bit too heavy, so I like to do BB cream and concealer. Beer, beer, beer. The Smashbox Correcting Cream, dark spot correcting and um, you know scar correcting, and so you just like put it on and it's really light coverage, um, but it's it's nice, you know, and it has SPF 30, so it protects you from the sun and from using this bad motherfucker all of this is not 100% necessary the only things that are really important to have is a makeup remover if you wear makeup a facial cleanser toner moisturizer and this it's called the PMD um, personal microdermabrasion and it is so wonderful and so for those of you that don't know like a microdermabrasion is this super expensive treatment where you know you have to like go into a doctor and it costs like thousands of dollars and uh, and they take off like the top layer of your skin and this does the exact same thing this is a little bit pricey but in my opinion it is well worth the investment so what it does is it like takes off the top layer of your skin and your skin treats that like it's a minor injury and it rushes to replace the cells that have been lost if you use this consistently um, once a week you will see um, an improvement in your complexion with your overall skin tone and uh, if you have any kind of wrinkles those will start to fade your acne scarring will fade and it prevents acne um, which is you know what I've been talking about the whole time is you know it, the key is to prevent not to cure but this does both <laughs> I just think it's a really really great device and it's super easy to use so you just pop this in and lock it in place so that it doesn't come out and then plug it in you can just flip it on like this But yeah, it's really easy, really simple. Do that once a week to um, your face, your neck, um, anywhere on your body. This is well worth the investment and because I'm an unstoppable badass, if you go into the doobly-doo, there will be a link waiting for you with the coupon code A New Hope with three E's and you guys will get 25% off on this thing. Boom. There's a lot of this stuff is totally a luxury, but if you want skin like mine, this was this was fun for me. I really like talking about girly stuff like this. I might start to do it more often. I don't know. And you boys will just have to deal with it. All right, you guys. I love you all so, so, so much. I gotta get out of here, and I will see you next week. Mwah!